Okay, so we are matched against Poppy Popper. I'll try and remember to put a link in the description. So uh, he's been uh, doing. I, I know that he's been on the on the business for very long. So uh, uh, so his videos are are way better than mine. So <laughs> if you uh, care to go uh, look at his videos, it's going to be awesome for you. So let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be on the play. Let's say good luck, have fun. Um, yeah, this is this is cool. We can try and find something with the preordains. This could be anything. <laughs> the strength of preordain. Our opponent is Mulganing. I have no idea what they play. Uh, judging by their videos on YouTube, I think that they play like rules and, and particularly like um, oh, they want the land? Not really, I don't think. They play rules and uh, particularly um, um, budget rules. So let's see what they bring to the table. Some score desert. We are off to a interesting start. I have seen this card being played in Penny Dreadful World Gorger Dragon combo. <laughs> so that's fun. I don't know exactly what they are on. I think I'm going to just pass the turn, try to cast a, st a stutter, just try to start to impact the table if we can. Either chaser is going to be kind of a, an issue actually. We don't have very good answers versus um, versus tokens in the main deck, so so we. Could try and find something with the preordain, or just play a land and pass. We have another counter spell. I think I'm going to do that. We don't have any rush. If they don't do anything, we can brainstorm maybe, or just cast the stutter. Probably I'm going to cast the stutter and give the brainstorm for later. This is another problem, so I'm going to counter that. So they probably are like a, an aggressive deck of sorts. Maybe like a red deck wins with some artifact shenanigans going on. I'm not so sure. Land is good. Land is good. I'm going to start with the Burning. So counter spell. Yeah. Opponent is kind of um, stuck on lands and they mulligan to six. So any counter spell is going to be fine. It's going to trade with something and let us just have enough. Time for this. This counter counts any artifact, so I'm going to counter that again. I'm sorry. I really don't think this deck is kind. This kind of deck, right? That just counters everything, but it's something that happened, I guess. Um, let's start with with this. Actually, I think. See what we can draw. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to pass with Sprite up. If they are an aggressive deck, I expect them to have several one drops. They find another land. Artificers. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, I can see that. I'm going to counter it though. I want to counter anything aggressively. If I can get any value from this stutter, I'm going to be very happy. It's not that this card is amazing or anything, but it's good, it's playable. Okay, we can start with the Thraven. They are tapped out virtually because this doesn't counter anything, doesn't kill anything. Just play this. Opponent might not know what we are doing. They, they Maybe they think that we are like a super controlling deck of sorts. We are not. I could try and draw something with the clue. And just hold the starter. I'm not going to do that. Wait. No, I'm not going to do that because there is nothing I would draw that would change my mind about having the spell starter up. So I'm just going to pass the turn and see what they do. We can try and crack it to find a count, uh, counter spell if we need to. Okay, uh, I'm sorry, man, but 
I'm not going to lose free value here. They have a kill spell, so that's fine. We still traded that spell starter with two cards, so it's still fine. They have um, one servo. This card is actually playable. It pulls a lot of servos, so that's good. Let's see what they draw now. We draw all of our counter spells, so our opponent might be like a bit sad on that front. I don't think we want the journey. Let's see what we draw. We have the Ash Parents, so now I can kind of sculpt our hand. Ginger Brute doesn't really match that well versus them, at least right now. Wait, I can also just put two lands, shuffle with Trinket Mage. I think I like that. Mm, no, we have another brainstorm, so I'm going to shuffle with the Trinket Mage like this and then I have Brainstorm Shuffle again so I can actually fetch anything like Spring with Ram is another land Bone Splitter could start putting some pressure Flare Husk trades very well versus them I'm going to go with Flare Husk because yeah we can do everything now. Let's just cast the brainstorm now again. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to put the journey and the preordain. Shuffle and play the flare husk. They can equip this, this would be a 2-3, so that would trade with like the Trinket Mage. I was considering not attacking with the Thriven Inspector, I don't think it's worth it. If they want to spend two mana to basically be able to attack, then that's fine by me. So this is whenever an Artificer enters the battlefield, so it's not the other way around. So they can play now like a this. Okay, uh, what's this? Okay, oh, okay, that's a good card. Especially when you have these dorky things. Yep, so now they have four or five minutes. Luckily we... Luckily we have the journey for that. 33 minutes is kind of a card, so let's see. I may want to uh, sandbag this in case we draw another brainstorm. I can go fetch, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 2, yeah, so I can go fetch a uh, bone splitter, attach it, uh, and kill something. Let's do that. Which maybe I can just go for the Witching Well. I think that makes sense, right? Uh, just kill that while we can. Play the Witching Well and sandbag this so brainstorms are better. I don't mind drawing a Thriven now. It's a redraw, we have enough lands. Yeah, just a tab with for one. We are clearly the the control here. I'm, I'm recording right yet, so I'm clearly the control player here in this situation. So I need to play accordingly. And I think that I'm trying to to do that. So this is kind of annoying. Um, this country, so I would have done that before, oh, but this can block, so that's fine. Let's drop that. I could also just equip this to this, attack for three. They could, like, crew this, double block, and we trade with that, so that's some good attack. Four. So we can do everything. I'm going to start with this. Like this. Hawk. 
looks uh, fine. I may want to just play Hawk, equip this. The reason to play Hawk is so I don't draw any more of those. So let's just equip here and attack for three. We lose the germ, but it's not like it was doing anything in this portal position. It's only pings players. This you need white mana that they don't have right now. This is a good attack for us. I don't think they can do anything weird. They are hellbent too. So we are just going to grind them out of of blockers. Eventually we are going to win the game. We are not an aggressive deck. Okay, so let's just make sure we don't draw more of these. Okay. Okay. So now we can try and continue attacking for 3 each turn. So they can cycle that. Okay, so they are playing deserts like this and this, so I'm pretty sure they have a reason to do that. That could be like the wall that pings when you have a desert, I don't remember the name. That could be it. So they draw two. They're trying to find white mana for the co war uh, blood, also not. They're going to attack. That's a bit aggressive for my taste. We are not going to block, we don't care. <clears throat> we can attack for a billion now. I'm not so sure if that was correct attack on their part. Just going to right click and tackle all, play a couple of blockers, be fine with that. Yeah, I think so. They can block two damage, but not that I care too much about that. So they hit us for two, but we hit them for instead of for only three for six. So don't think this was a good attack on their part. We are winning that race. So they might have something that changes that math, otherwise it wouldn't make a lot of sense. So I'm trying to think what that could be. I'm not sure. Okay, of one mine is fine. So we drawn a zillion cards. Um, here I could remove this, but it actually doesn't do anything. We can attack, attach here. I think I'm going to just do brainstorm squad of hawk shenanigans. Yeah. We can play the land and another Thraven, so we don't have to discard. We could also just remove it with Journey. I don't think that's worth it. No, I don't think that's worth it. We could attach this here. Yeah, it's just the same to just cast another Thraven. So we are kind of doing our thing, and they are kind of doing their thing, and I think we are favored in that respect. So now they are just passing, so I don't really get it. Hmm, that's weird. Okay. To our face, so they could have it now. I don't really know what they are playing. I felt pretty safe at 14, okay. I was really scared of something there, really. Um, so they are mostly a mono red deck, from what I've seen. So this looks pretty good. Then they had uh, fingers and such. Maybe cell life stuff is okay. Capsule might be fine. I mean, they play mostly artifacts. So this should be okay. But I'm, I'm thinking that maybe Oblivion Ring is better. So this all could be fine. 
going to just put this here and try to see what's not that good against us, against them. So this is ramp. Don't think we need ramp in this match. This can be live, clear husk. Okay. So yeah, always the same problem here. I don't know exactly what to take out. Probably a couple counter spells, even though they were good in that in that match. Uh, sorry, in that game, I think it's okay, it's just okay. I'm going to just trade the player husk for the life stuff to be able to just kind of trade with our creatures and gain life. That should be a good um, a good plan. We go down these two so we don't bring that much in. I like remove one of these. So we have a lot of more, even though it removes some answers, we have Blue Elemental Plus, which practically counter everything we want and can be also removal. So in the end, we have like three, seven removal spells or three, uh, eight counter spells. So I think that should be fine. Another consideration would be Brilliant Lombo to kill their one ones, but we only saw the Puzzle Knot. This is going to be a mulligan, we don't have blue mana, so otherwise that hand would be pretty good. Here we're fine, we can keep this. I don't know what we are going to put down. Maybe a land, like the seed of the synod. Um yeah, just in case. We can cantrip for lands if we don't find it in the early turns. And if not, then we have more velocity, more card velocity. So Okay, so that's a good card. The, the best thing about Blue Elemental Blast. Ooh, this is fine. I kind of don't need to do that right now, but it's going to be good eventually. The good thing about, one of the good things about Blue Elemental Blast is that you can kill something after they played it, like they are going to do now. So I could go for um, play a land pass like this and uh, hold stutter or blue elemental blast so we always are going to have something to do worst case scenario they play something and they have an answer to spell stutter but again if we trade cards we are going to be favored for sure so if they cast a non-creature spell they're going to ping us so they probably have some um, something to do with that okay so I could counter that so they don't get the, the extra energy, which doesn't seem like there is a lot of synergies there, but if they play another either chaser, they are going to have another um, another token that we don't want them to have. So now that I see that they play two ones, and I remember that they play two ones, Probably it was a good idea to bring in the <laughs> the longbow, but yeah, I didn't thought that much about that. So here I could shuffle and then play prior lane, try to find a Thraven. I'm going to do that because we draw another fetch, so the fetch is not that high impact. Okay, I'm going to go bottom, bottom. Okay, zero, so you know that's fine. So we don't have a spell stats up now. So this is probably bad for us. Okay. We need to find removal soon. This puts a lot of pressure against Trample too, so we can't jump block it either. I think I'm going to start with the brainstorm. We have a lot of lands. Okay, Thriven is good. I'm going to put land and land here. I kind of don't mind throwing another land, so I'm going to play the Thraven and equip it with the life stuff. We don't want it to die because we have the off one mind, but we don't play Thraven inspectors to protect them, you know. <laughs> We play them because they can't trip. So let's see what they do now. 
if they play an artifact and just attack with the Kremlins, there is a consideration to blocking to gain life. Oh, Orkish Bandal, that's a good one. Yeah, this one, the one. This was what, the one that I was referring to before. The Wall of Forgotten Pharaohs. Um, that means if you have a desert in play or in the graveyard and they play like eight deserts. So now I can crack here. And uh, this could kill here. We can play the starter and draw cards. That doesn't seem that good. I'm going to fingers. They don't have anything good to sacrifice. Uh, I think I'm going to just draw a card. In blue, blue open. Uh, we can just pass the turn now. They can't really attack with the Fire and Archer, so the Fairy Inspector is doing a lot of work actually. So if they play an artifact and we play the starter, they can kill it with the Vandal sacrificing this, for example. Okay, we can't counter that. But if they do, then we are still trading one for one. So the attack with that. I'm not going to block. We could, in theory, play the starter and double block, but I want the creature to off my mind. Okay. So we are very, very low on life, so we need to find something soon. Journey is fine. Let's see what we draw now. Blue Elemental Blast is also fine. So let's just play this. Let's remove one of the salivating gremlins, I think. It's the most annoying. And uh, I think we pass. I think we pass, yes. They have us at a virtual five because they can tap this and tap this, sacrificing it to hit us again. So we are a bit low on life. That's not good. We are going to probably blow elemental blast that unless they play something weird that we need to counter. Uh, that's okay, that's okay. Yep, yeah, you got it. So they are playing all the artifacts they can, so they pump their gremlins. Another artifact, this brings us to six. I'm going to let them attack because they have lethal on board, I think, if they kill here. Oh no, they don't really need to do that, but maybe they do, so I'm going to just let them do their thing and when they attack I'm going to kill it. Yep. Let's see how they attack. So yeah, they made the mistake. So I can block with anything here. I'm going to block the Thraven so we gain life. Block first, then kill the Kremlins. They still have us at a low life total because they can sacrifice things to fingers. So we actually need to remove that bundle because they have so many things to sacrifice. Going to do it now. Interesting, they sacrificed the puzzle lot. So maybe they don't play white mana. That could be interesting. So let's see, what can we fetch with this? Maybe um like a ginger brute. I could also just find the dispeller capsule, but that doesn't really work. Because it's four mana to kill something, and there's nothing we well, we can kill this. 
right now. Let's see what we have actually. So if we go for that, yeah, I think it's I think it's fine actually. It's kind of weird. Normally I don't want to do this. But we can do like kill this. Um and uh, they could attach this here, making it a 2-3, so I'm not going to attack, so we can double block. Next turn we have Raven and Salvo Lifestyle. Uh, that's annoying. Again, being a 2-3 makes it not really trade with this, but we can trade with the Fink Mage. So, he sacrificed something, bring us to 4. Need to find something fast. Um, we can attach the life stuff to the spell starter. Oh, yeah, that's good, that's good, that's good. Um, I'm going to kill this now that they are tapped out, but we just going to draw first. Brainstorm, I'm going to use it in the final. So we can equip it here, this won't equip, right? Yeah, so we can equip, equip it here, attack. Then equip it here and either attack they do, we have something to block with, so not amazing, but it works. We need to start pressuring them somewhat. Because they can attach this here, attack for two, for example, but if we have this, we have enough. So I'm going to leave the brainstorm up, not that it makes anything. Of value right now we are empty-handed but if we need to for whatever reason we have the ability oh. so they have a good attack right with a skiff I don't know well we drew another shuffle effect let's start with that Ball splitter A. Ball splitter makes it trade with anything. I'm tempted to put back the counter spell. Like this. So you can play the bone splitter and start stacking. I think we need to be aggressive. I'm going to hold the land in hand, just in case. And let's just attach, wait. Um, yeah, let's attach here. Attach here. Attack for five. We are going to pass the equipment to this sprite. So we need to put us in the best position possible to win. And that means that means doing this so they can't really attack with the skiff. And if they draw nothing, we're fine. Well they can attach this here actually. I could allow them to attack, but they should just spend the whole turn doing that. And they start to they have to start sacrificing actual cards to our face. Puzzle not, okay. So they sacrificed the goggles. We need to find something right now. That's not enough. Maybe they double block. That's our only chance actually, just to them making a mistake and blocking. But not much that they can do about that. Okay, just the one. That makes sense. So I'm going to concede now. If they double block, then we gain three life. Maybe they forgot about that or they didn't consider that as an option. So I just right now realize that Oblivion Ring 
can remove this GIF. So I'm going to put it in. Or maybe remove another counter spell or a preordain. Yeah, I think so. I still want the ginger brood because um, it enables of one mind and otherwise we don't have any way of enabling it. Here we are on the play, this isn't keepable. This again isn't keepable. This is fine. We can put this back and this back. We have the brainstorm squadron hawk thingy to kind of draw a lot of cards. So we are not that far behind. The thing is we need to spend a lot of mana doing that. And we are going to do it sequentially because we don't have more lines. So. Okay, brainstorm is fine. We'll need to spike a land if we don't want to. I mean, in the next turn, right? If we spike a land, we can do like brainstorm a dollar squad and hog and make sure we are not brainstorm blocked. Maybe if they play a threat, we can just play a journey. Okay. That's not a threat right now. It can kill anything. So that's a concern. Okay. What happens if we miss all lands, right? We're kind of screwed. I can also just, um, let, let's see, we have 17 lands and we're going to look at three. That should be fine, I guess. We need to take risks. Yeah, we find it. So we put two squadron hawks. Play this, then another hawk. Awesome. And we can just attack here. We can start sacrificing things to deal with our hawks. But that really doesn't accomplish much at this stage of the game. Gremlins. Okay. We can deal with their board or we can draw cards with the Squadron Hawks. I'm feeling Squadron Hawks, I think. Yeah. Let's see what we draw. Okay. Let's put this. Sorry. No, yeah, we need the evolving wilds. This and this. Play another hawk. Play this. Let's just crack it right away. No reason to hold it. Let's just attack for two. So we undo our mulligan like very well. We are we have seven cards in hand and three permanents on board, so that's good. And the good thing is that we draw a lot of cards, but at the same time we kind of added things to the board, so that's really really good. So we can't really jump block that. So that's an A3, so we are going to eat a lot of damage. The Dimagios, we can just kill things. I'm going to do that, I think. They didn't play any threat, so that should be fine. I wonder if they play like um, um, Fling and stuff, because this grows very big. Mm. Let's see, we want to play the Seeker, so I'm going to play this, play Journey, kill the Gremlins, play the Seeker, 
I'm going to destroy this rule right now. So they can't activate it in response. We could also wait until they target something, but I prefer to do it this way. Also, if they have more, um, how do you call it, more reach in their hand, I want to remove their option to sacrifice things for damage. So uh, an important thing to note is that when you're playing magic, try to give your opponent the least amount of options possible. So they don't have, uh, okay, modern. So they don't have, uh, if they have less options, they are going to be, it's going to be more probable that they lose, right? Because they can't make the best decision if you give them the less decisions. It's kind of idea. So they can really attack here. We can play like a staff, attach it to the seeker and hit for a bunch. Can we do it? We can play Thraven and crack it. But they kind of want to play both Thravens. So let's do that instead. I'm going to fetch, I think white. We have a lot of white in our hands. Okay, this. Sadly, we don't have any other thing to trigger the like the prowess here, but it should be enough. I'm going to attack with everything. We need to start clocking them, and we are going to gain the race for sure if we have a seeker of the way active. The jump block. That's interesting. Um. We could save the squad of in, in case we draw another brainstorm to shuffle, but I don't think it's worth it. Just to, going to play the hawk, not shuffle, and thus we don't have anything else to fetch with this hawk. So we were able to draw a billion cards, so let's see if we can translate those cards into within the game, which is kind of difficult sometimes. Another Gremlins, that's a pain. We have a couple of red draws still. Okay, they play that now, so they should have more. Otherwise, I would have saved it for the following turn, right? Um, I guess. Let's see, they don't have any attacks. Ginger Brood. Doesn't really do much. I'm going to crack, see what we draw. Land. I just want to find a country for something. Journey is awesome. Let's just play the journey. That was exactly what we wanted to find. Now we can remove their threat. An attack for a bunch. Everything is going in your house. And let's attack with the air, with the creatures in the air and the seeker. So triggering lifelink here is huge because they try to burn us out. They can't really race with a seeker. We have more life in here if we need to. Three mana for a healing solve is like the dream, right? Let's see. So they sacrifice, reveal another mountain, they play it. I wonder if they play like uh, one planes to find with the with the map so they can use the ability in the puzzle knot, right? Because the puzzle knot activates for white. This one. I guess they do not because they didn't fetch it. Okay, they eat us for a bunch. I would totally play a planes here. Looks solid. Okay, off one mine is awesome. This was one for sure. Yeah. This was pretty good. 
that was not that good. So we can attack with everything. They are going to champ probably the seeker with everything in the air, right? We could have for sure four damage comes one, two, three, four unblockable damage. That doesn't really accomplish as much. I think I'm going to play this in defense, try to not lose, because we have lethal in the air next turn, no matter what. So we want to not die, so I want to gain as much life as possible. GG's. Okay, maybe they don't have a way of killing the, the Seeker. GG's. Uh, interesting, interesting game from them. They had a lot of interesting synergies. I really like the bundle. This uh, provides a way of controlling the board, which is amazing. But at the same time, it's a one-one or two. And look at its stats, uh, at, the, at the art. That's not a one-one, right? This trades one for one with a square. Also, I don't really understand it. So yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next one.